integrity and justice with tenderness you shall know long have I waited for you coming home to me and living deep beyond your The waves of death rose about me. The pains of the netherworld surrounded me. In my anguish I called for the Lord, and from his holy temple he heard my voice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Welcome to all those of you who are watching live. I think there's about uh, 14, 15 people online now, which is uh, almost as many as we get normally on a Saturday morning. And of course, that number will swell greatly during the day. So uh, welcome to all of you, whether you're listening, watching live or uh, catching up later, as they say. Um, particular welcome to those whose names I spotted on the screen just before my started. I'm going to forget them all now. Deacon Paul, nice to have you with us. Uh, there's uh, Sam, Nicola, Kate, uh, oh dear, that's it, my memory's gone, there's quite a few more as well. So, uh, well, Bernadette with family, she said, that's right, and one or two others. Uh, so, nice to see your little greetings on the screen before we began this Mass. Uh, some petitions which we'll include in this Mass, of course, Mass is offered in thanksgiving for the birthday of Teresa O'Brien. We also pray for those who are sick, there are many of them, of course. But I uh, wish to remember especially uh, Peter Clamp, Brian Hands, also Gail Egan's mum, and uh, one or two others we've asked to remember. All those who are working in the NHS emergency services. Also uh, Canon John Berry of Nottingham Diocese, who died recently. So we come together to celebrate this Mass, to thank God for his mercy and his love, and we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. 
May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright. For without your grace, we cannot find favour in your sight. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord revealed it to me. I was warned, Lord. That was when you opened my eyes to their scheming. I, for my part, was like a trustful lamb being led to the slaughterhouse, not knowing the schemes they were plotting against me. Let's destroy the tree in its strength. Let's cut him off from the land of the living so that his name may be quickly forgotten. But you, Lord of hosts, who pronounce a just sentence who probe the loins and the heart, let me see the vengeance you'll take on them, for I have committed my cause to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, Lord God, I take refuge in you. Lord God, I take refuge in you. Lord God, I take refuge in you from my pursuer. Save me and rescue me, lest he tear me to pieces like a lion and drag me off with no one to rescue me. Lord God, I take refuge in you. Give judgment for me, Lord, I'm just and innocent of heart. Put an end to the evil of the wicked. Make the just stand firm, you who test mind and heart, O just God. Lord God, I take refuge in you. God is the shield that protects me, who saves the upright of heart. God is a just judge, slow to anger, but he threatens the wicked every day. Lord God, I take refuge in you. The Gospel Acclamation. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. I take pleasure not in the death of a wicked man, it is the Lord who speaks, but in the turning back of a wicked man who changes his ways to win life. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Several people who had been listening to Jesus said, surely he must be the prophet. And some said he's the Christ. But others said, would the Christ be from Galilee? Does not scripture say, that the Christ must be descended from David and come from the town of Bethlehem. So the people couldn't agree about him. Some would have liked to arrest him. No one actually laid hands on him. The police went back to the chief priests and Pharisees who said to them, why haven't you brought him? The police replied, there's never been anybody who's spoken like him. So, the Pharisees answered, you've been led astray as well. Have any of the authorities believed in him? Any of the Pharisees? This rabble knows nothing about the law. They're damned. One of them, Nicodemus, the same man who had come to Jesus earlier, said to them, But surely the law does not allow us to pass judgment on a man without giving him a hearing and discovering what he's about. And to this they answered, Are you a Galilean too? Go into the matter. See for yourself. Prophets do not come out of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, we ask you to receive us, we please, and the sacrifice we offer you, 
with hunger and come try it out. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, with these oblations you receive from our hands, and even when our wills are defiant, constrain them mercifully to turn to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Bernard, our Bishop, William and David, his assistants, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And we pray and give thanksgiving for the birthday of Teresa O'Brien at this Mass today. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the St. Thomas More, Blessed John Sugar and all the saints who've pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. 
at the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let's greet one another with a sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ with me to everlasting life. The blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. The communion antiphon by the precious blood of Christ, the blood of a spotless and unblemished Lamb, we have been redeemed. Now, for those of you at home watching live or <clears throat> later, we now is now is an appropriate moment to make an act of spiritual communion, and I'll lead this prayer. But uh, you, if you're able to join in at home, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally. Come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by their working render us fully pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessing. Look upon your people, O Lord, and as they draw near to the coming festivities, bestow upon them abundance of heavenly grace, that helped by the consolation of this world, they may be impelled more readily towards higher goods that cannot be seen through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And we conclude Mass by singing together, if you can, the Salve Regina on this Saturday, tradition of the day of our Blessed Lady. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exules filii eve, a te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ego, advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis, post hoc exilium, ostende. Oh,